Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the matte black and jet black iPhone 7s and we're going to be comparing both of them to see just how they stack up to each other and the pros and cons of each. Now, oddly enough, there's actually many good reasons why you would get one over the other one. That's what I want to talk about. I want to cover each one. So that way, if you're deciding between the two, you know which one to get at the end of this video. All right, so first up is the scratch factor. Now, the jet black iPhone 7 is going to scratch way more often than the matte black iPhone 7. That's because this is also aluminum, but it's brushed aluminum or polished aluminum. So they actually just polish it over and over till it gets to the shiny and it's gonna make it much easier to scratch. This one, however, not as much because you're not forcibly scratching this. This is gonna be accidental scratches. So in your pocket with a coin, with a key, with um, anything else like that, the matte black won't scratch unless you really kind of press it on there. And the jet black will get these little micro abrasions as they're called which are basically tiny scratches which over time you're going to really tell the difference between the scratching on both of these devices so it's definitely something to keep in mind if you tend to put this in a purse or anything like that you definitely want to go with the matte black iphone 7 to prevent it from scratching and why would you want to prevent it from scratching well some people don't really care but if you do care about your resale value and selling this in two years or time you might want to keep it scratch free or as much as you can from any scratches and dents and things like that that way you can get the next iphone or switch over to another phone in a couple of years so definitely keep that in mind second we have here is the grip factor which is much better on the jet black iphone and that's just because of how glossy and glassy it is it just kind of sticks to your fingers whenever you put it like that you can see that it kind of sticks right there but the matte black it kind of just slides off especially when it's really cold and uh, your hands aren't very you know um, oily but it'll just slide right off however this one definitely has a little bit more grip so if you're using this without a case or without a bumper and you want that extra grip of your phone that way when you're holding it moving around maybe walking and texting or anything like that the jet black iphone 7 is less prone to being dropped so if you you know tend to drop phones or you're using it around your house or anything like that and you know that you hate slippery devices then definitely go with the jet black iphone 7. Now one of the bigger reasons is the price. The Jet Black iPhone 7 starts off at 750, while the Matte Black iPhone 7 starts off at 650. And that's because Apple's kind of making this as a premium device. So it's only available in the 136 gigabytes and then also in the 256, 120. And by that, I mean 128 gigabytes and 256. While this one right here is available in 32, 128 and 256. So you can get a matte black iPhone 7 for 650 plus tax or a jet black iPhone 7 for $100 more, which is something to consider because $100 more is quite a bit of money. You can use that money for other things, maybe a case or something like that. So keep that in mind. If you don't really care about getting this one and you only need 32 gigabytes of storage, then definitely go matte black or one of the other colors. Now, of course, we covered the scratching portion of this, but the other part of this is the fingerprints, which if you're a very clean person, you like to keep your products smudge free, you know, clean free, oil free and things like that, this Jeff Black iPhone 7 is a nightmare. I mean, I don't know if you can see it right there on the camera, which you might not be able to because of how highly reflective it is right there, but it gets very fingerprinty very fast. While the matte black iPhone 7 stays relatively clean and you can see it more on camera because there are no reflections on the phone. But in real life, it's nothing even close. It definitely gets far dirtier with um, the jet black iPhone 7 and it just gets oily and the oil builds up and then it gets clunky and uh, just very not nice to hold. So that's something to keep in mind if you're like that or if you don't care, then you definitely go with the jet black iPhone 7. But if you do care, definitely 100% do not go with the jet black iPhone 7. And if you don't want any fingerprints at all, go with the silver, go with the gold or rose gold, mainly the silver. That one's going to be the cleanest one of them all, the most simplest. I mean, I'm just really liking how the silver is looking up this year. You can see it right there, how clean it looks on camera. Very simple. There's no reflections or anything compared to the jet black right there. And that moves me on to the next point, which is the reflection on the back of the phone. Now, this isn't something that I actually thought about beforehand. I was actually just using the phone and then I thought, hey, well, it's kind of interesting because it's so reflective on the back that you could actually use that as a mirror. So if you tend to take pictures with the back camera, which is of course way better for taking pictures in general, and you want to take a selfie like this, 
then um, you can see yourself on the reflection of the mirror and take the picture a little bit better than you would if you couldn't see yourself because you can see how your hair looks or anything looks and uh, yeah, anything along like that or if you just wanna check yourself in class or anything like that without having to turn on the phone, you can just look at the back of this and uh, you'll see yourself and it works just like a mirror, which is not true on any of the other phones because those only have the Apple logo that's reflective and the Apple logo is not big enough for you to see yourself. So that's something to keep in mind, a little extra feature, definitely not something that would make you choose one over the other, but if you do go with the jet black iPhone, know that that feature is there and it's a neat little trick. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about those two colors and kind of go over the pros and cons. One thing that I do want to talk about is that if you're looking for the coolest and just the nicer screen of the bunch, the one with the best whites, the one with the brighter screen, definitely go with the silver gold or rose gold. For some reason, those have a nicer screen than the black iPhones and I don't know why. And you can't really tell unless you have both of them next to each other and you're showing them. So right here, I'll try to show you guys from an angle and you can't really tell, but one is more yellow than the other and it's just so noticeable in, um, in real life. But yeah guys, if one of your friends or somebody has a black iPhone and somebody else has a white iPhone or something, you guys can compare the screens and see that by yourself. But as long as you never compare two of them together, you won't notice it and it's not gonna be a problem. So if you don't wanna freak yourself out over how bright the screen is and how white the whites are, and which screen is nicer, just don't look at them, just buy the phone that you like the most. But if you do care about that, that's something worth noting that I just wanted to throw in here so you would know that I noticed. And uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, at rmrdnl or at dargadgets, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And aside from that, you can also comment down below and I'll get back to you there and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. But yeah guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.